shoulder off. Yeah. Alright, last night was a crazy night. The power went out. First time that's ever happened. In a hotel I've been to. Oh shoot, it's really foggy. <laughs> It got really hot and then I woke up again and our room was freezing. It always seems to be the problem. It's either too hot or too cold. Well, the power had went out in our hotel room. Now right across the street though, Evan had, had observed that the power was on over there, but our hotel didn't have any power, so it was a little bit warm. We got our continental breakfast. Now we wait. We gotta take one for our continental dump. Alright, today is day two. Light. Um, we have four hours and, no, five hours and ten minutes today which includes cities like Atlanta and Savannah. We're hoping to get to Hilton Head by about three o'clock this afternoon. It's currently eight. Yep, eight o'clock. So, waiting on the girls to finish breakfast. And then we'll leave. Yep. So long, room 405. It's been real. Coming up, we're close, but there's this big traffic right here. So sad. Palm trees! There's palm trees! Oh my lord, do we have to go over that bridge? Oh yes! Yeah, look at Christmas, look at that. <laughs> okay, our detour has turned into crossing the <laughs> tallest bridge I've ever seen in my life. My feet are sweaty. <laughs> it's fine. As we're driving across Savannah, it's the first time we'd ever done this trip. We come around this corner, and Brandy, in her fear of heights, is the first one to notice this bridge that is by far the tallest bridge I think I had ever seen. The reason it was so tall is I didn't realize that Savannah, or Savannah was also a cargo ship uh, dock. Seriously, you can put a ocean liner. Look at all that machinery over there. Jeez, a weed. Oh my. Look at them. That's like glory. Look at that it's huge cool. thing floating. Yeah. That blue that's thing. That's cargo. That's cargo. Wow. Up till the 1950s, the island of Hilton Head, named after its European discoverer William Hilton, didn't really have much going on. Natives lived there, then the island became inhabited with Europeans, but not many, just 24 plantations were on the island. These plantation owners grew cotton, indigo, sugarcane, and rice. It slowly became more of an importance following the events of Fort Sumter, 
Hilton Head was the scene of the largest amphibious landing by the U.S. force until D-Day. During the war, the island was mostly evacuated, but there were some freed slaves who tried their luck growing crops. However, the boil weevil, a deadly insect cotton, cleared the area for the next 80 years. However, life for the island would change when timbermen recognized the great potential for the island's pine trees. After the war, at the peak of the baby booming era, a man named Charles Fraser felt that there was more potential than just wood. His idea was fueled by the construction of a bridge to the mainland. The first resort was built and was called Sea Pines Plantation and became a prototype for the modern resort. The island would prosper fueled by resorts and residential communities. It would become an official town in 1983 and house more than 40,000 residents. Despite this development, much of the island remains and looks the same as first sighted 300 years ago. Alright, well we got in early. We are supposed to check in at 5, we're here at 2.30. We got okay. in. Okay. Mom's gonna go park over there. I'm gonna go try to find a cart. I'll come with. Said we had a lagoon view. What do we get? Not a lagoon view. God dang it. Oh, we got it. We got a shot through here. Still palm trees in the way. All right, guys, we're just settling in here. Just settling in, getting all my camera gear out of this bag. And uh, for the first time ever, we have twin beds. It's kind of loud out here because of that thing right there. But anyway, one one big concern I have on this vacation is trying to keep all this equipment uh, without getting sand in it. I don't know really how I'm gonna do it, but we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. Hope for the best. Nothing nothing bad happens. I don't get any sand in my lens or anything like that. That's not what we want. I hope you liked my little story on Hilton Head there. This is a pretty important spot for our family and it is probably, I would say it's probably my favorite beach spot we've ever been to. I don't know what we're going to do, we're probably going to go to the grocery store, buy some essentials uh, and uh, check. So the guy said that we're by the lag lagoon and I thought he meant this thing way out here. So the big thing, see uh, over there, on that side over there, on that side over there is actual mainland and then there's just kind of like this marshy part and then there's Hilton Head and then the ocean's over there like over there over there um so I thought when he said lagoon we were going to be facing that but it's actually this the loud thing um but we still got kind of a good view the problem is is the sunset sets sunset sets like right there so we're not going to be able to get some nice sunset time lapses, but we still definitely have a view. We'll be able to get some nice dramatic shots. So This place has a really good setting for the video project, so that's what I'm looking forward to. And hopefully I can tell a good story over these next six days. But I kind of need to get inside because it's super hot. Holy crap. So we aren't right next to the beach, but we can call this guy. And he come. He'll come and pick us up and bring us right to the beach, which is 1.8 miles away. So that's pretty cool. Got some thunder over there. <laughs> now we gotta go over here to the bike shop. That is covered in bike trails and it's a pretty small island so this is the best way of transportation. It looks great. Look at that. 
There's only one gear on Look this Look at thing. her now. She took her hand. That's not safe. Mom, you don't have a helmet on. We're not going to have a helmet. How is she going to stop is my question. How do you stop? Uh, like your feet back. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to get used to that. That's dumb. Woo wee! It's hot. Kroger, where's some floaties and stuff? Worst part of the trip, going to the grocery store. What's the chances we come out here and it's just pouring rain? Pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> this place isn't hurt now. You want that one instead? No. That's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow, riding a wave like that. Get this one. Okay. You might be a little harder on the box of cheese. Look at all those in box. I haven't made a good comment when we got into Hilton Head is like the whole town transitions in the weekends. Saturdays and Sundays, the whole town of Hilton Head vacates and then a whole new population comes in. Go to the grocery store when we arrive there, generally, that, and that's what the whole rest of the town decides to do. There's a Kroger right up the street from our hotel. When we went in there, it was super busy, but we had to go to the meat counter to get some deli meat. It was about 13 people deep, and they did their entire week's grocery shopping while I waited in line for about a pound and a half of meat. Where's the vegetables? Huh? Where's the vegetables? You vegetable? wanted me to get them? What do you think that would be okay no. with hamburger? Yeah, the only thing um, extra that I bought was... <laughs> Which one? 4403. When your beaches, place your beaches in the bag. <laughs> This is our pile. Two. Ninety-nine. Please scan it. Hurry before it's it talks down. It's on that right side. <laughs> Twenty-nine. Let's item and bag or cup. We made it, guys. Holy crap! That was basically an amusement park. Mess it here. If you go out there. That was wow, that's, tits. that's coming in. We've had a disappointing last few hours after that crazy grocery store. Um, it started to rain, as you saw from the, the, the lightning. It's actually pretty cool. But uh, we're planning on going on a bike ride. Can't do that. So. 